In late 2012, Samoa suffered significant damage and loss of lives. Public and private assets due to Cyclone Evan and resultant flooding with damages estimated at more than 200 million US dollars. Flooding of the Vaisingano River was extremely intense. That approximately 6,000 people in parts of the Vaisingano River catchment area were evacuated after high winds damaged homes and the Vaisingano River broke its bank. The collapse of the Leone Bridge disrupted a major east-west transport corridor and destruction of road infrastructure affecting other commercial links. Further, the drainage system was unable to restrain overflow resulting in extensive flooding of the lower Apia area. The severity of the impact of climate-induced disasters was such that the government called for international assistance. With the support from various development partners, the government of Samoa launched a series of efforts in addressing reduction of the risks of climate-induced hazards, including the post-disaster recovery plan, various least developed country fund, LDCF projects, related to health, forestry and tourism, and regional programs, such as the Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change, the Rich to Reef project, financed by the Global Environment Facility Trust Fund were implemented. The Economy-Wide Adaptation to Climate Change project, known as EWAC, which started in 2014, is a particularly important baseline project of the Green Climate Fund Vaisingano Catchment Project, GCF VCP that is now in its third year of implementation. Under the EWAC, which is financed by the LDCF, an integrated water resource management plan, IWMP, for the greater Apia catchments was developed to identify the root causes of climate vulnerability and outline strategies for reducing the risks posed by climate-induced disasters. The Integrated Water Management Plan follows the Rich to Reef principle with an integrated approach to building climate resilience and protecting community livelihoods and assets. On the basis of the IWMP, the government developed and implemented the first phase of required integrated flood protection infrastructure for the Vaisingano River catchment area, which is called the segment one of the river wall from Leone Bridge to Vaisingano Bridge in the lower Vaisingano catchment area. The construction of limited climate resilient river bank protection measures, particularly at the mouth of the Vaisingano River, will assist in safeguarding adjacent communities and physical infrastructure from flooding associated with extreme weather events. The LDCF finance projects addressed only urgent and immediate needs which are insufficient to tackle the longer-term challenges. With these limitations, together with the realization of the climate hazards that Samoa is and will be facing in the future, the government requested support from the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in developing a programmatic approach to climate change adaptation and an integrated and comprehensive flood management solution for the Vaisingano River catchment area. Samoa is a small island developing state and has been heavily impacted by increasingly severe and extreme weather events such as storms, increasing sea level rise and storm surges, 
and negative impact on residents and communities safety and livelihood. In addition to extreme rainfall and weather events causing recurrence of flooding, damages to communities, private and national infrastructure in the Vaisingano River catchment area. The Vaisingano River catchment area has the highest concentration of public infrastructure such as schools, hospitals and government buildings, private including homes and businesses and other social and economic assets of high value in the urban area in Samoa. Recent extreme events and climate flood modeling show that climate induced events will worsen flood risks in Samoa. The government's foresight and leadership tasked the Ministry of Finance in early 2016 to coordinate with the UNDP the designing of a government integrated flood management response, which is the first of its kind in the country and is consistent with Samoa's development strategy aimed at accelerating sustainable development and broadening opportunities for all. The government requested grant financing from the Green Climate Fund in September 2016 to enable the government to invest in resilient infrastructure benefiting nearly 20% of the national population and a large proportion of those communities vulnerable to flooding in the Vaisingano River catchment area. This is Samoa's very first Green Climate Fund funded project. The Green Climate Fund is a fund of the United Nations that aims to tackle climate change challenges by helping small countries like Samoa adapt to climate change or mitigate the negative impacts of climate change. The Green Climate Fund investments in Samoa are directed to an integrated approach to flood management and natural disaster risk reduction known as the Integrated Flood Management to Enhance Climate Resilience of the Vaisingano River Catchment in Samoa, referred to as the Vaisingano Catchment Project, VCP. and it is Samoa's biggest climate change adaptation project to date. It is worth 65.7 million US dollars, co-financed by the GCF grant financing of 57.7 million US dollars and the government's contribution of US 8 million dollars and is supported by the UNDP as the GCF accredited entity. The VCP is a six year project that started in July 2017 and aims to be completed in 2023. The GCF Vaisingano catchment project represents the government's initial steps in operationalizing a comprehensive flood management solution. It has three major outputs. Output 1, assessments and mechanisms in place for an integrated approach to reduce vulnerability towards flood-related risks. Output 2, infrastructure in the Vaisingano River are flood-proofed to increase resilience to negative effects of excessive water. And Output 3, drainage in downstream areas upgraded for increased regulation of water flows. The government of Samoa is grateful and very appreciative of the Green Climate Fund grant financing, which made it possible for the Vaisingano catchment project to be implemented. The main objective of the VCP is to strengthen adaptive capacity and reduce exposure to climate risks for the vulnerable communities and infrastructure in the Vaisingano River catchment area. 
through investment in flood proofing infrastructure for the flood prone communities and families, including drainage and sewage systems, river flood walls and bridges. The VCP will also establish a health surveillance system to track flood-related health issues within the VRCA, help institute better building practices, and expand the coverage of early warning systems to warn communities along the Vaisingano River that they are at risk of an extreme flood event. The VCP will also provide support and financial assistance to 31 villages within the Vaisingano River catchment area in the implementation of three programs, namely the Ecosystem-Based Adaptation Enterprise Development Program, the Cash for Work Program, and lastly, the Payment for Ecosystem Services Program. The primary direct beneficiaries of the Vaisingano catchment project include approximately 26,528 people in the Vaisingano River catchment area and 37,000 people indirectly benefiting from the VCP within the floodplain from Afia Malu East in the upper catchment to Matau Tutai in the lower Vaisingano catchment. The VCP is a multi-sectoral project that demonstrates strong country ownership and leadership, strategic direction and coordination of overall project implementation by the Ministry of Finance, the executing agency, and chairing the VCP Board and Project Steering Committee. The implementing agencies comprise of the Ministry of Works, Transport and Infrastructure, Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, Land Transport Authority, and the Ministry of Health. The implementing agencies are supported in the implementation of their approved work plans by the collaborating partners, including the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Labour, Samoa Water Authority, Electric Power Corporation, Samoa Umbrella for Non-Government Organisations, Civil Society Support Programme, Samoa Business Hub and the Chamber of Commerce.